Anyone who's a fan of Marvel Comics is probably a fan of Iron Man, right? You've seen the cosplay suits online if you're a nerd like me. But can one of those suits really be made to fly? Adam Savage from the Discovery Channel went to the Colorado School of Mines to put that challenge to the test. Our Byron Reed sat down with a mine student who put her core into the project. Sarah Sordidal has always had a vivid love for science. I liked chemistry, I liked physics, I was part of an ocean quiz bowl team in high school. She's a PhD student at Colorado School of Mines in their materials science program. Which is studying how to improve the materials around us, such as glasses, metals, ceramics, polymers. Back in December, her school was asked by Discovery Channel show Savage Builds creator Adam Savage to help 3D print a real-life Iron Man suit made out of titanium. He walked through the labs, found out that we're doing 3D printing in titanium, and a few weeks later called us back and said, Hey, I've got a new show. Uh, one of the episodes, I want to 3D print an Iron Man suit out of titanium. And of course, I said yes. So my specific role was to help print the ceramic chest piece that's part of the arc reactor. And the project has sorted all's work at the heart of it all. We made the chest piece out of 3D printed alumina. We have a lithos printer at Mines, which is a very top quality ceramics printer. The show's creator did have one special request. The suit also had to fly. Yeah, at first we weren't expecting to need to fly the suit, but the show kept coming up with more and more ideas. And there's tiny little features. A way sort of all can see her hard work on TV and a chance to make her family glow with pride. Yes, I am, of course. I'm really excited. My parents are really excited too. <laughs> For next, it's definitely a different way to solve problems. I'm Byron Reed. That's pretty cool. The School of Mines worked with another Denver area company called EOS to get the pieces 3D printed. The Discovery Channel's Savage Builds premieres their hard work this Friday night at 8 o'clock.